Hello, my lovely crafters and yarny peeps. Welcome to my plushy Wednesday. It's actually Monday. <laughs> I leave on vacation tomorrow, but I had things that I got done and figured I would pre-record this video to go up on Wednesday. So, I have several little things to show you. Um, first off, I'm gonna show you the gifts that I gave my family when I arrived. And of course they love them. And of course I don't know that because I haven't given it to them yet. But here are the gifts that I'm giving to them. First off, to my grandson, JJ. I tried and tried and tried my best to make him a baseball. Because he is an avid baseball player. He's on all kinds of traveling teams and everything else. Well, this came out the size of a softball. It's big. Bigger than I thought it would be. And I put JJ on there, and it's probably backwards, but I don't know. Um, put his name on it, so this was his gift. And then my granddaughter, Alexis, always loved panda bears when she she was a little younger, so I made her the panda bear. And I will, I'm sure she's madly in love with it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope she's madly in love with it. Isn't it cute? I really wanted to bring this to my market, so I have to make another one. But it's not hard. I'll make another one. And then for my son, Jay, I think I may have showed this before, but I made him a s'more. And I love these little things. You smush them down. It looks like the marshmallows melting. Put little cheeks on them because it's hot in that fire. <laughs> I have so many things to do today. It's insane. Um, anyhow, this is for Jay and a good reminder to him that we still have not sat outside at his fire pit and done s'mores on my visits. So we better do it this time. S'more. <laughs> I want s'more outside fire pit and s'mores. And then for my daughter-in-law, I had a really hard time deciding what to make for her and um, decided that I would make her a flower. So here is the flower that I made my daughter-in-law. It's a pretty rose. And I found this faux baby's breath at Dollar Tree. I think it just adds so much to it. And wouldn't a bouquet of these be beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. I think this is probably one of the Grumpy's favorite things I've made. He just keeps commenting on it and commenting on it, how beautiful it is. So those are the gifts I'm giving my family for hosting me up there. And my, one of my granddaughter's friends wanted one of my items. And the item she wanted was this little dino. It's not that little, but so I'm bringing it up for her. Couldn't tell you her name. I have no idea. I don't know her. But it was requested, so here you go. So the baseball was something new I made this week. I made a couple of things I've made before and some newbies. I made another possum. Look how cute he is. Look how cute. How can you not love that? <laughs> the tail. His little legs. They're cute. So I'm not making too, too many duplicates for this first fear I'm at. I'm going to continue to make stuff, but um, it's a small event. It's a single table event, so there's just so much I can put on one table. And I have no idea what it's going to be like if people there are going to like my stuff. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Last night, Grumpy said, make a chicken nugget. I made a chicken nugget. I followed the pattern. I used parfait chunky yarn for it. And this is... The chicken nugget. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Grumpy says, that's not a nugget. That's a whole meal. 
<laughs> oh, it's so big. That's the biggest chicken nugget I've ever seen. So I think what I'm going to do is try making them with um, regular worsted weight yarn, four ply worsted, and that'll bring the size down to be a little bit more manageable than this big chicken nugget. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. And then I started making little octos. This one's really little. I think I'll put this on a chain so it can be a bag charm. But isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. And it's not the pattern I wanted, so I made the wrong one. So I finally got the correct pattern, and it's got a little bit longer tentacles. Not as long as my very first one I made that I sold three months ago. But there's one, and here's the second one. Let me just get a little the blue one. So pink and blue, mommy, daddy, baby, I already showed you. And I got one more. And I love this one. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? Except the poor thing is deformed. Deformed. And it's going to have to stay that way because I'm not taking it apart. It has nine tentacles. <laughs> I guess I got carried away when I was making it. Nine tentacles. So, if anybody buys it, they get a little extra. But I love this color yarn. I do not like working with Bernat Blanket. It, I don't know. I, it's just too, too, <laughs> it's too thick. It doesn't glide along your hook as nicely as the Parfait Chunky or the um, Michaels brands that are nice and almost a silky satiny kind that glide across the, the hook really well. But I love the colors. This is the one I said I would make a big elephant in. And with this yarn, it will make a big elephant. So I'm still going to do that. Not till I get back, though. So I had put an order into Hirschner's for a little bit of yarn. And as usual, I get the notice that they're out of stock on, I think I ordered five skeins of yarn and I got two. So three are on back order. I don't know what's going on with yarn. I guess everybody is making plushies because they are always out of it. And I hate to order a lot because I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. I don't know what's going to happen after my two fears are over with. When I'm done those two markets, am I going to continue this? I don't know yet. I have to see how that goes. So I'm not going to make a bunch of plushies so I have 100 plushies hanging around my house. I don't know. Everything is up in the air. But while I was looking for the yarn I wanted, and yarn is falling on the floor, they had these cute little amigurumi kits. And they were only $5. So I thought I would give them a try. And there's this one, that's a little gnome. I'm gonna take this with me on the plane and make it. If I don't make it on the plane, I'll make it while I'm in Rhode Island. So a little gnome. And then they had this one, which is a pumpkin fox. Well, I have this, a pattern very, very similar to this on my to-do list. But this came in a kit, so I figured I'd try it. Now it's not made with plushy yarn, it's made with um, worsted yarn, a very thin one, so I think it's a DK yarn. It doesn't say on the package, I tried to figure it out. But I did make it and I love it. I love it, I love it. I think it is super adorable. And here you go. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I'm not crazy about the the um, 
glasses on it. I had to put an elastic to hold it on, otherwise it just falls off. But I just think it's adorable. I love the little leaves on top. It's just a little pumpkin fox. And his tail. Too cute, too cute. So I am gonna bring this to my market. I don't know how much I would charge for it yet. I know the pattern was inexpensive, but it did take a while to make and there's a lot of sewing on it, so. I don't know, we'll see. I kinda not wanna sell it, cause I really like it. But I may make another one. I may make another one. So tell me what you think. For a $5 kit, I think this is really adorable. Little cheeks. I think it's adorable. But honestly, I like it better without the glasses. The eyes are embroidered, so this is totally safe for a child. And it's my favorite thing I made this week. My favorite thing. And that's all I got for you. That's all I have for you. And like I said in my Saturday mishmash, and for those of you who don't know what my Saturday mishmash is, I am originally a paper crafter. I've crocheted forever but showed very little crocheting on my channel. So I've been a paper crafter for 10 years or so. I'm not sure how, about 10 years, I guess. And so my Saturday mishmash is geared towards that part of my crafting. Cards I've made or boxes I've made or bags or whatever, whatever I've made out of paper. Um, things I bought, paper I bought, happy mail I get from my subbies, that kind of thing. That's what my Saturday mishmash is. So Wednesday is dedicated now to my crocheting and Saturday is dedicated to my paper crafting. And if I have anything in between, like if I join a collab, like I do Annie's Santa Comes Early for Us collab, then I'll put that up during the week. And of course that's paper crafting. But I think all of my crocheting will be on Plushy Wednesdays. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Don't know if I'll be making any videos while I'm in Rhode Island. I will be making things, but making a video may be a little hotter. Who knows? I would love to get my granddaughter to do a video with me, but I think that'll be a little hard. Oh, my grandson too. He's so cute. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, miss you while I'm gone. I'll, I'll do my best to watch videos. Um, that's all I got. So, until next time. Love yous. Bye.